Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're finishing the Rise of the Robots campaign. We're in the final room. We are decked out, equipped, uh, well ready to um, hopefully finish uh, this mission. And we are going uh, to incinerate the enemies. Yes, uh, that is exactly what we're going to do. If you say so. If you say so. It's the only thing that... My soldiers have to reply to that. Okay, taking a tiny fine step over here. Nothing to worry about. Uh, how about we're moving to here? That's oh, actually a good position. And finally, Roby. Is taking the position over here. Okay, cool. Good. On Overwatch. Overwatch mode. I keep this on Overwatch. Overwatch mode. Yeah. 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 I think I heard something. Psst. I think I heard something. Yep. Damn right. You heard something. You view us as the powers of your world. But that was never our intent. Each species you've encountered. The aliens you have fought. And slaughtered. Uh, there we go. That will bring us into position. This here should probably not trigger yet. It's the last field that does not trigger. And we are going to Overwatch again one more time. Commander, resistance forces are pushing back against Advent, but it's coming at a heavy price. At this rate, there may not be anything left on either side. From here we can call upon an endless of reinforcements. Could stand here. I I really like the position where we do have a stasis um, ready if needed. Could move up to here. Or we're just going to do what I am intending to do, which is charging in and hoping for the best. Well, hello there. Very nice. Hunter triggers right away. Oh boy, Hunter triggers twice. That's pretty good. We have passed the point of rational discourse a long, long time ago. All right, moving up. Now is perfect time, by the way, for a bit of overdrive here. And starting to shred. We got plenty, plenty of heavy weapons ready. Bam, that would look like an easy hit for, for us. Wonderful, good. There we go. That's a nice little shredding. We're going to see some teleportation shenanigans. Well, who would have thought, right? And since we're at teleportation shenanigans, how about we're continuing to hit this guy and hit him really, really well. Um, you know, I'm wondering... Seven to nine pretty uh, neat damage that we could uh, deal. We got some domination ready if needed. That's not bad. Uh, we can reposition soul fire is also an option. Well, plenty of options to be honest. Let's since we do not have what's our domination chance 90%. Okay, we're saving that Archon for now because we want to, you know, sure should we save him not sure what i definitely would want to do is keep a tight formation because then this guy here 
can simply not teleport around as he wishes. Fortunately, that was a miss. I'm going to save the dimensional rift. Null lands definitely is an option. Um, you know, moving up with the commander to here doesn't extend the field of vision too much and just want to make sure that we're not dealing with any more obstructions. There we go. Nine points of damage. Good enough for now. The natural question that I'm asking myself is, should we use the second overdrive? Why not? Um, we are okay as far as cooldowns. That is unfortunate, it's so unfortunate. Good, we're going to deal with this guy. And I do have the perfect option. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Well, maybe I do. Give me a second. Just going to move out of the way. And then let's try this again. There we go. Perfect. That solves the problem here. Okay, well, how about we're just parrying? That's not the worst idea. Okay, I'll go. And over here, I think we're actually in a relatively solid position. I like the high ground. Oh, it's another great feature. I also like being able to affect that side of the field. What's over there? All right, domination. Let's take over another soldier. There we go. That's going to be our tank. And let's kill the Archon. Chuck, chuck. But one is down. We're just going to Overwatch. Two more avatars remain. And we got a couple of chrysalids. That's not really worrying at this point. Let's see who else spawns. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that will trigger an overwatch. And a very nice kill. There is a blade storm. Heavy, heavy, heavy hit. Well, easy enough, like, that's not even really challenging. We're going to create a ghost here, so that won't be an issue. In the meantime, Glaive is moving up here. You gotta love the high ground. Clones are not going to be a problem. We're continuing the high ground and kind of a closed formation, I should say.
Good. We always have the chance to soul fire this guy. So, moving up a bit closer so. again onto high ground. Can take some cover next turn. Your flesh is weak. Nice hit. Very well done. All right, um, still moving up. Still killing that guy. And whilst we're here, I mean, we could theoretically move in further, but there is no need. I want to keep the vision range up. Um, in a manageable distance we're bringing up yet another templar should have probably stayed there for the extra uh, for the extra focus because we're going to be out of focus Good, and we're positioning ourselves in Overwatch. Uh, we got a lot of Overwatch going. Templar's Ghost has played Storm as well. Should, at least. So, positioning them over here helps us. That's the next... Yeah, that is the next Avatar. Wonderful. of heavy hitters here. I appreciate them bringing the cavalry. Yeah. And that ended uh, the chrysalid. So one kill, that is the second one. <laughs> All right, picking up some more focus, like it. And let's kill and refill our focus entirely wonderful with so much firepower boy oh boy do we not have to worry about anything gonna blade storm charge in because why not I just need one hit and then they're ready to be killed. Keeping a tight formation, as I mentioned originally, that will help us with uh, the chosen, not the chosen, the avatar rather. into a very open position. These chrysalids here are ripe for a kill. 
Roby takes this position. We're overwatching. Victor reloads, overwatches. Commander's avatar has a very nice oversight up here. The Archon is going to tank for us, and yeah, we're just going to accept them rushing into us. Oh, that's an interesting pack. A couple of Spectres. Good, the Commander. Or the Avatar, rather, will move further over to us. We keep our formation. It cannot uh, simply teleport too far away. There is the Bladestorm Retaliation that I was talking about. And I guess someone stepped into the wrong field. Yep. Someone very much stepped into the wrong field. And that was an execute. No, that was not an execute. Well, it was a pretty solid hit though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these guys stand no chance against the firepower that we're, we have to offer. Let's start with the um, Chosen. Where is it? There we go. Okay, we got it inside. Overdrive. Thanks to our superior action economy, we should not have any problem with that. Let's start pretty much shredding and uh, killing the avatar. Yeah, he can't teleport. Uh, if you have a close formation like that, he can't teleport anywhere meaningfully. Okay, so what are we going to do? Ooh, we could void conduit him. Oh, that is that is mean. Essentially just letting him stand there. Okay, let's start with a couple of easy things, shall we? Number one, we need to kill this guy. And the way that I would want to do it is... Just hitting it and be done with it. And we're going to use a simple soul fire for it. Melting his brain. Psionic on psionic. Are you kidding me? Okay, apparently he is not kidding me. But... We can easily kill him with our Templar. There we go. 
Got an undying loyalty there. Really doesn't mean much for us. Okay, the reason why I didn't want to use um, him is, uh, him being Roby, is we still got a domination and I would love to dominate one of these berserkers. In order to be action efficient, we can reload. I could also use teamwork, but I don't feel like using it now. Instead, we're continuing to take over the entirety of the enemy force. And make it less and less appealing for them to even attack us. Got a massive berserk now. Suck on that. Um, enemies. Okay, so... Vector, on the other hand, is going up there. The Berserk really can't do anything. Moving over here. Taking a couple of shots just to get those guys low. Um, we're positioning ourselves here. Yep, you've seen that absolutely correct. That is a double blade storm action, which means whatever is going to get anywhere near here will automatically die. And let's start to harass uh, this guy over there. Wonderful. Continuing to hit the Berserk. Like I said, they don't have enough hit points to like go through all of that. They are in the much weaker position. Target neutralized. Now I want to save Dimensional Rift for a little bit later. Instead, what we could do is we could simply mind control one of these guys. Again, probably a bit wasteful. Instead, let's reload and just kill them. Everybody's now softened up and the blade storms will deal with the rest. That's the last avatar coming in. He's in a tough spot, guys. Comes in, thinks he's all macho man, and in reality, like his entire team has been already been been shot down. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was a tickle at best. The elite specters are way too far away to uh, influence this combat here. Nice try. So far we haven't even taken a single point of damage. Metal effect. So far we've killed almost all of the enemies with really taking moderate damage at best. Good, let's start with 
hitting these guys, but we're going to do it in a second. Reduction of field of vision is the name of the game here. Our Berserker moves up. And Hulk Smirch! Oh, this guy is toast. Wonderful. Okay, let's amplify our good friend over here. Sucks being you, buddy, because you are now going to be in a world of pain. We got this one here, just as a teaser. Start up. And look at that. We still got more time until over uh, until our um, overdrive will be ready again, but that's okay. Taking a solid shot, although he dodged, he still took almost the entire entirety of damage. The sparks. Uh, preparing to re-engage, apparently. The sparks are just shredding through him, and this guy is down to the wire. Now, I hope you hedged your bets uh, for who's going to kill him. It would be fantastic if the commander would kill him for once again. Yeah, well, let's try that. All right, commander. Commander kills it. I bet you that you would not have guessed that at the beginning of, or at the end of uh, the last uh, uh, video. Anyways, that brings us to the end of Rise of the Robots. What is Saiken's verdict of uh, the run? Well, Saiken thinks it was an absolute blast to play something completely different. I've tried to jam as many requests as possible into a single run which was um, uh, the Psionics and the Sparks at the same time Lab Rush. Uh, that all together has created kind of a rather rocky start. Uh, you've commented about that as well. That's fine. Um, sometimes uh, things are a bit more difficult at the beginning. So the tactic is certainly nothing that you should try to do on your first legendary Ironman uh, run. Saigon also thinks uh, that the Sparks have performed really, really well. I uh, would even say that six sparks are a pretty valid strategy uh, that you can um, employ. They have enough explosives, they are immune to mind control, uh, poison, burning, uh, they can shred and uh, they can deal with almost everything. So that's not bad. I would, um, I would say that's a really solid um, setup. Psionics, we already knew were strong, so uh, that really came at no surprise. Uh, Saiken also thinks that uh, the um, yeah, build-up of the entire psionics and rushing them um, is a pretty daunting task. I stand by my verdict of uh, earlier if the other runs where I said that you should probably not rush psionics. It's normally not worth it. But yet I find myself uh, doing it from time to time again and again, and it certainly has its downsides. Uh, other than that, the run was pretty straightforward and uh, probably after halfway it was clear that uh, the tension like the on the edge was gone. Um, that is normal. Um, if you catch up and if you kind of get an edge, then you typically snowball ahead. And I think it was even a perfect run in terms of not uh, losing a single soldier or a single mission. So from, from that standpoint, uh, mm, yeah, once you catch up and go through the difficulties of the early game, it's really not that uh, problematic. Which brings us to the question of what a next potential run could look like. Uh, and uh, I do have a few candidates for it uh, in mind. 
Maybe you already leave your comments down below. I want to hear what you think. I'm not going to spoil the beans too much, uh, but I'm still looking for challenge runs, things that are interesting. As always, if someone uh, notes a comment down below that you particularly enjoy and would want to see, then feel free to just thumb it up and I will look through the top comments and uh, in the anticipation of hopefully another great challenge. With that, I uh, conclude the run and thank you for your viewership and your participation. Much appreciated. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, then uh, try to leave a like and a comment down below. That really uh, helps uh, the algorithm and uh, helps the channel grow. And we see each other hopefully in the next run. Take care, guys. Bye bye. What next? We finally come in from the cold. and sisters. Welcome home. With this ionic network down, the core is even stronger. Gather everyone. Our time is short. We want but a battle. Now the real war begins. Uh, to here you can see no missions were lost uh, most of them flawless we have not lost a single soldier currently they have finally fixed the mind control bug so yeah it was indeed a perfect flawless uh, legendary iron man run and that with only rookies and a few other uh, things so even lower than the world's um, percentage shots, so that was not uh, the problem. We only killed two instead of three chosen. And it took us definitely longer to kill the first chosen. Yeah, also longer to get the first colonel. Only had a very limited amount of soldiers, very limited amount of colonels. Uh, we trained more psionics, yep, that is true. And the rest was pretty much in sync. That here always had been a bit bumpy, so I wouldn't give too much on it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye-bye.